Okay, self-love and self-sabotage practice. This is like one of the early stages, well, and we're always continuing to, you know, refine and check these things out because how do we expect to ascend and improve our vibration and our sense of being and everything we do while we're sabotaging ourselves? You know, it's just seems sensible. So, if you'd like to check in with yourself and come up with a, a ratio, you know, how much of my daily life and my daily practices uh, self-love you know beautiful loving and nurturing and improving and how much is self-sabotage so yeah some sort of a percentage ratio where do you think you're at because it's it's kind of in vital importance to you know check these things out otherwise if we're sabotaging ourselves well then we're just gonna die early and not we feel very good about ourselves we'll go into our victim stuff and we don't need that so, some of the things, uh, well, I'm currently, I'm probably on about 95% self-love and 5% self-sabotage. But, of course, I'm at a very highly educated, highly conscious place. I've been detoxing for five years, so I've got rid of a lot of the causes of the self-sabotage practices in my body. So, what I like to do with these sorts of things is add in 20% from self-love to self-sabotage for things we're unaware of. That we don't quite realize are harming ourselves so and of course because we're still coming from our conscious mind rather than from our body until we get to a third eye awareness and of course if we've got a big bloated gut and stomach and we haven't colon cleansed put another 20 percent on self-sabotage because we're feeding our critters and our parasites and our black mucus plaque that we've got there until that's removed so where are you currently at so yeah, I've got rid of those things, so I'm still at, oh, okay, I'll go back to 90% and 10% self-sabotage with some of the things that I say and do, which people seem to look and react because you've got a lot of stuff that's reacting from them in their gut, their body. So some of the for examples, some of the things I had to get rid of and, and significantly improve my vibration and health and well-being and spiritual development were tap water, huge, absolutely massive so many heavy metal dense chemicals in there and by getting a filter and ideally what I've recently discovered is the amount of black mucus and heavy metal density that comes out of uh, any tap water is like two tablespoons a week adding up to 1.5 kilos a year 15 kilos a decade how long how old are you that stuff's down here causing deep dark vibration and density and evil shit uh, other things are caffeine, oral coffee especially. It destroys every, all of the subtleties of the body and especially adrenals which links to well everything below the part of the body and the nervous system and thyroid function. So that's an absolute must to get rid of. Switch it for vanilla chai or gynostemma tea is also amazing. Anything herbal tea will significantly improve your meditation practice and allow you to actually the thought to occur to you and actually get it done and have a successful meditation practice. Other things, uh, alcohol, absolutely, unless it's in a tincture. That's the original purpose. So if we drink, it comes from the Arabic word al kul, kul meaning ghoul, or we call it spirits for a reason. It is feeding our parasites and causing us and our nervous system a complete destruction to do silly things. Not helpful. Uh, other things, well, I've got rid of fish because they're heavy metal dense and especially anything that doesn't move and is sitting in the bottom of the ocean because they absorb all the chemicals and all the stuff that we put in our waterways it's a kosher food guideline uh, if they're small and swimming herrings and sardines and things okay think about it uh, other things uh, well anything cigarette smoke weed in small doses on, on occasions I'm totally cool with that because it's aligned with mama nature but if we're reliant upon it, then yeah, we're, it's just going to dull our senses, even though we think it's improving our nervous system. To some degree, but if we're reliant upon anything, it's not the greatest. Other things, Western medication. Anything, Western medication. You know, the Center for Disease Control is a corporation that is of a puppet of big pharmaceutical companies designed to keep us low vibrational density. Not helpful at all. Uh, Over-exercise is a big one that I had to get rid of as well. 
You know, I got up to 100k ultra marathons, but I realized it was causing chronic inflammation in my body. Um, another one is massively acidic foods. If we're putting more and more acid in there, we've already got bucket loads of acid, unless we've had an alkaline diet and alkalized significantly for at least six months, and then once you start doing that, you feel so great, you keep doing it. Other one, that might cause some controversy, veganism, vegetarian. Well, it's good for a short period, but it doesn't have zinc or B12 or a lot of B vitamins and a lot of the things you can only get from red meat. So reproductive system will just switch off. You won't have muscle tone and muscle density, especially if you're a thin uh, vata or you've got all the air or fire about your body type and shape. Might want to have a look at that one. Mm. Uh, so there's some of the things that I've definitely had to get rid of out of. Oh, also television big one because it's transmitted f through frequency and it's going to go through your frequencies in your endocrine glands or your chakra system and significantly affect them and you'll notice people who watch television and listen to mass media and commercial radio they're completely unable to think for themselves and they messages go in through the nervous system in using light or in frequency to completely control them and influence their thinking and thought patterns and belief system they're essentially a socially programmed robot. Add the heavy metals and the cigarettes and coffee and caffeine, anything coke, anything soft drinks, massive amounts, will just turn them into a programmed robot unable to think independently. That's possible anyway, because there's always an environment. But, of course, you need a six-dimensional awareness to understand the ether element and the top half of the body spread through the nervous system to understand completely these things. And then, oh, another thing is thinking. Try to get rid of the thinking as much as you can. It's not helpful, it's a waste of time. Just let it come and run through you. I don't think too much make making this video. Things just pop in as I'm doing it. But you need a confident presence about you. And what else? All right, well, any, is there anything else that you're having a look at your, your nutrition and your lifestyle that is a self-sabotage practice that we can get rid of? And ideally, when we're taking something out of our, you know, nutrition and lifestyle in our body, then what I've found is instead of just taking something out, replace it with something better. Because then we feel like we're not just losing something, we're upgrading. Because if we're upgrading and then upgrading lots of little bits and pieces on a, day, on a regular basis, ideally daily, then we feel like we're improving because we are. So our body's in a better condition and our mind is in a better condition as a result. So it is helpful to go and see someone who knows a lot about these things. So if you want to, you know, send me a message and jump in a session, we can analyze and have a look and get you the best essential daily rituals that I've come across for maximum ascension. Giddy up!